Hmm. Hello guys, my name is Doak and you are watching the new episode from the Custom Series. In the previous video from this show with the name Custom Nike Shoes, I gave you a chance to choose what's gonna be in the next video. In this video. I highly recommend to watch that video. And by the way, if you like this series, thumb up. There were so many interesting options, just as custom a miniature train with moto markers, custom a school bag with markers, do a custom spray paint can, make a custom underwear, custom gas mask, custom studio. By the way, about the studio, I don't want to paint these walls and I can't paint these walls, so all these things are such a great ideas. But the number one is make a custom camera as you can see i changed the pronunciation of the camera because i used to say camera and it was pretty annoying for you so 275 likes so today we're gonna make a custom camera and even better we're not gonna make just one camera we're gonna make two of them ah. this camera that i hold right now this is my main camera and i can honestly say that it's already custom because there's color all around it. So today we're not gonna paint on this camera because it will be pretty hard to record a video without this camera, you know? I will use something different. Ah! Hey buddy! The first camera that we're gonna customize today is a Lamax AXA some Chinese shit. I used to record videos with this camera, it's still fully functional, but I bought a GoPro instead of this little tiny thing. <laughs> See? It's still fully functional. My idea about the design for this camera is to create a camouflage design. Lots of people use it when they play airsoft for example, or maybe they are hunting some animals or I don't know. So I thought that it would be a good idea to make it invisible. <laughs> what you're gonna need. So it's not necessary to use acetone, but we will need our old friend, the tape. With the tape we're gonna cover the lens and the display, but also it's gonna help us with the camouflage. I'm gonna use traditional Molotov spray paint. As you know, the problem about these cans is that they smell but this butt is gonna help us. The step number one is our the display, the lens. We're gonna create the camouflage design with a tape and spray paint. You need then you need to do this with a tape. The design is done. It's pretty fast. Right now we need to wait for a few minutes. It's time for the second camera. And to be honest, I've been staring at this one for about 10 minutes and I have no idea what to do. When I'm looking at this camera, there are buttons everywhere. And it's like, it's different when you paint on a sneakers because you got some surface for your design. But, ooh, <laughs> but I promised you something. <laughs> this is not gonna be a masterpiece, but all of you. So you, yeah, I'm talking about you. Everybody should be able to do this. Okay guys, our two cameras are done and it's time to start with a camo camera. I think that it's totally safe to do something like this with your camera.
still fully functional camera. And this is the second camera. Um, you have seen what I've done. And I don't recommend to do this, especially with your brand new camera. It would be okay to do it with a water resist camera, but I would recommend to do the first option. It's more safe. Hmm. Oh. And to repair it. And I'm 100% sure that with a camera like this, all the people around you, all the tourists around you, would stare at you. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below which of these two cameras you prefer. I already got some plans, but as always, you can let me know in the comments below what should be the next custom video. I got some super exciting plans for the next few days. You're gonna see them in the next episode of Live Event Street Artist, alright? Thanks for watching and see you next time.